Hey, my country people. Now, wow. I they fear for this man, who Mike Ozeko man. Because wait till this man talk for this video when I want watch so eh. I they fear say federal government go fit throw their hook to hook this man. Because not be small watch this man watch federal government. Both all the arms of government, the man touch every part of the government. All the nonsense, all the wayo, all the rubbish where they do. The man verse. Now talk all of them. I just fear for this man's life. Make nothing happen to this man. Because these people, this government, they be very bad government. Welcome everybody. I beg. This is me again. Everyday people's voice. I go like we could watch this video, reach the ending. I beg. I go see you now after the end of this video. Make could not worry. Make could I just watch the video to the end. When I go here with you, I try to talk. This man, my Jose Kome, we could have watched the video as they play. So you have Wikipedia, you have Encyclopedia. I have my own Ozekpedia. I have brought out certain demos that we are practicing. Demo means people. Crazy means about them. We practice so many crazies except demo. That world defined by Abraham Lincoln on the 19th of November 1863 during his Gettysburg Declaration as government of the people, for the people, and by the people. Do we have government of the people in Nigeria today? What we have uh, electionocracy. Electionocracy is a system where every four year interval we go through a ritual to elect or select our leaders. They used two years to go around thanking the people and doing one or two road projects which will be washed away after the first rain. They used the third year campaigning silently and by the fourth year it is full-blown election so we don't really have democracy dividends we don't have people to impact on the common people we only have people who come and give some rice some moodles of rice and wrappers to people or five thousand naira to ten thousand to vote for them or select them or elect them and then after that they forget the people do you see them again when they are elected they are in dark blackened vehicles and they won't even open the door to wave at you to say well done so that is electionocracy from my Ozekpedia, the next one is legislatocracy legislatocracy is a crazy which is not democracy by which the legislators instead of looking at section 4 of the constitution to make laws for the peace, order, and good government of Nigeria, they make laws for their pockets. They do not consider the people. The present Senate, since Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, Dr. Nwafo Rizil, Dr. Joseph Wire, has been the worst of all the Senates in Nigeria's history. With the eighth Senate, arguably being the best because they could challenge executive lawlessness and impunity. This Senate is a Senate of Agama Lizard. Agama Lizard is simply saying yes, yes, yes. It will never say no. Yes, Mr. President. Any budget, any request, yes, sir, Mr. President. So I call them Mr. Yes, Yes Senate. I've also called them Mr. Take a Bow Senate. A person has come before the Senate to be examined and scrutinized for a critical national assignment. And you look at the person. I say, oh, Professor Michael Zekome, I say, we know you. We know you will do the job very well. Take a bow. So everybody goes there to take a bow. What makes you think I can do the job? Have you interrogated me? Have you asked about my bona fides? Whether I'm a square peg in a square hole? Have you found out? That is not the kind of Senate that 
we are looking for. By the way, what is the problem? What, what is the business of senators and House of Rep members doing constituency projects? What is their business? Their job is to make laws for the peace, order, and good government of Nigeria. Is there section 4 of the constitution? There's nowhere they mention constitution uh, constituents. So it is the system that corrupts us and power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. So we cannot have a synod instead of getting concerned about oversight functions under sections 88 and 89 of the constitution to hold the executive and even the judiciary accountable. You have you have senators when ministers come and members of the DMOs, uh, DMAs, they ask them, what do you have for us? So, if their budget, for example, is going to be 500 billion, they must build in that for the legislators. That budget of 5 billion will become about 700 to 800 billion. No country grows like that. No country. By the way, if you look at section 63 of the 1999 constitution the national assembly is to sit for no less than 180 days that means six months in a year that is why you see many legislators engaging in business contrary to constitutional provisions that they should not except farming the reason is that they have much time in their hands all you need to do is to schedule your time and make sure you have sat for six months in a year. Then in such a case, have recommended again and again, what do we need a full-blown National Assembly for? What do we need 109 senators for? What do we need 360 members of the House of Representatives for? All of them constituting a drain pipe on our national poultry national treasury. I do not see. Thank you. I do not see why it is it cannot be enough for three senators to represent a state, one for each senatorial district. To take care of the people something. If you want, scrap the Senate, let the House of Reps stay. Or you scrap the House of Reps and let the Senate stay. The alternative, there's an option. The option is let them sit on part-time basis and collect only honorarium, sitting allowance. If you have legislators taking sitting allowance, then you will find that it is those who are really ready to serve Nigeria. People like Senator Oyofo, for example, who was already a guru in the oil business. He left. He wanted to serve his people. He didn't go there to go and eat money. And no corruption case was ever filed against him. If you make it, if you make it part-time, you will now see real patriots come out to serve Nigeria. You will no longer see everybody killing himself or herself to go to the center. By the way, we are not practicing uh, federalism. We are practicing a unitary system of government where the entire 67 items on the exclusive legislative list are more in, in favor of the federal government against states and local governments. What is the business of federal government with marriage? Do you know that your marriage, your relationship between you and your wife is governed by an act of parliament, the marriage act? In other words, how you dissolve your marriage how you marry, how you have children, it is the business of the federal government. A matter that should actually concern not even a state, but a local government. What is the business of the federal government? we being a monopolist of electricity. When I should be allowed to germinate, to generate electricity in my house, go to Abwad, Afeb Abalora University, where I presented the 10th convocation lecture. On the 20th of October last year, they generate their own electricity up to five megawatts. Wow, what is your business? 
federal government with this, with railways, that you are the only one who can construct a railway. What happens to those State if the government decides to construct one from Ijukwe, my village, through Agene border, up to Okbola? Why should you stop it? So, these problems are endemic and systemic. So, we have a national assembly, and particularly a senate, that has been corrupted by the system and by the executive, that has become afraid of its own shadow. This government is on its way going out. I'm just writing an article now. I will, I will put it out today. I titled it, Our Leaders, the Ephemerality of Power. Go to James, Second James. It's a power. It's like a bubble. You pinch it and it goes. It vanishes. Ecclesiastics. Nothing lasts forever. Even life itself. Shakespeare. Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player that frets and struts his hour upon the stage. And it's hard no